Hello everyone, welcome to iBasiac and welcome to another toy vacuum cleaner unboxing and demonstration. This particular one I've had for some years so you might not be able to get this exact model online or in stores but the company that make it, Theo Klein, do several toy vacuum cleaners including a Miele one but it'll probably be a newer version of this. Okay, without any further ado, let's get this toy vacuum unboxed and we'll see how powerful it is. Well, here's the Toy Miele vacuum cleaner out of its box. And I must say the detail that Theo Klein have used to make this toy is amazing. It's almost as if they found a shrink ray gun and pointed it at a real Miele vacuum and shrunk it down to child size because it's outstandingly accurate, this machine. I've got the real version of this, but it's in red. If you want to watch a real one in action, check on the link below. I'll put a link to the cat and dog version that I've got. Anyway, let's uh, show you what you get in the box. Of course, you get a hose. You get a separate handle, just like the real thing. You get one extension tube and the detail, as, as I was saying earlier, You've even got Miele's click fitting attachment. Now with this particular one, oh dear, they're spilling out. I did actually get some polystyrene balls. Now I bought this a few years ago, so I'm not sure if you get these included anymore because of new regulations with child safety and toys. They are considered a choking hazard these, so they might not come with your particular toy Miele. If they don't, you can buy them quite cheaply, places like eBay, but supervise children when using them because you don't really want them to swallow these. You also get the main floor head and, you know, basically it looks very similar to the real thing. You've even got a little pedal to adjust it for floors and carpets, although there is no brush that moves. Underneath, all we have is this little channel here where the suction comes from because yes this does have real suction power. At the back of the toy there's even a parking slot that you can put the extension wand in just like the real thing. And just like the real thing there's a storage bracket on the side as well. Just like the real thing there's onboard tool storage. Simply press this button the tool lid springs open to reveal a small upholstery nozzle and of course your crevice tool to get into all those nooks and crannies. Being a Miele of course this is a bagged toy vacuum cleaner so to access the bag we simply lift this cover and we have a reusable cloth bag inside. Before I can demonstrate this toy vacuum cleaner I need to put in four C-sized batteries into the compartment on the underside of the toy observing the correct polarity that's it and then I just need to attach the battery cover and tighten the screw before I attach the hose let's check it works now surprisingly this isn't just for show, it does actually make a difference. I'm not sure if it changes the suction power. I couldn't detect any noticeable change, but it does change the noise level. So if I start it off on low and then turn it up to high, you'll hear what I mean. Before you can use the toy mealer, you've got to attach the hose to the cleaner end. It does take a bit of effort, so you might need an adult to help you. And then you need to also connect the hose to the curved handle. The next thing we need to do is attach the wand to the nozzle. And that fits on just like the real thing. Just push it in and twist until you hear a click. And finally, we need to attach the wand to the handle. 
Now, because these white polystyrene balls that were supplied won't show up very well on my white tablecloth, I put a red one down so we'll be able to see them much clearer. So let's sprinkle some of the polystyrene balls onto the table and hopefully this meal is going to pick them up. Let's release the wand. Let's just move it out of the way so I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to switch on to full power and uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Hmm, well, it's certainly, certainly picking them up, isn't it? But it's taking quite a long time. I think it might be quicker if we try it with one of the small nozzles. Let's put the upholstery nozzle. So as you can see, it just fits onto the end, just like the real thing. Let's see if this makes an improvement. That's certainly better with this nozzle. It's because it's got a much wider suction opening than the big nozzle, so we can clean up the polystyrene balls much faster using the small upholstery tool. You can, of course, select the crevice tool. And I've got a few final bits just out of camera shot I'll pick up using the crevice tool. Well, we've done all our cleaning. I think it's time we emptied the bag, don't you? So let's lift up the bag compartment and we'll take the bag off. And we'll be able to see everything we just picked up. And some of you might notice that apart from the white polystyrene balls in this bag, there are some colored ones because I did try this out earlier and found out that a lot of the coloured ones, because they were a bit too big, were getting caught in the nozzle, so I had to abandon that. The coloured ones do look rather fun when they're being sucked up. So, what I'm going to do, because I like to see this, and I'm sure a lot of you do too, I'm going to put some more polystyrene balls down, but this time I'm going to put some coloured balls down on my white cloth, so you'll be able to see them very clearly. But because they're a bit big for the main nozzle, I'm going to suck them all up using the small nozzle. Oh dear, what a big mess I've made. Let's see if this toy meal is going to pick this up. I hope it will. Oh dear, I think the bag must be full. It's definitely a drop in suction. Well, I'll give it another try. We'll take the nozzle off and just try it with the end of the hose. Oh dearie me, I think the bag must be full. It's not going to pick anything else up. Well, if this was a real Miele vacuum cleaner, it wouldn't have left all this dirt, would it? Let's have a look in the bag. Oh, it's very full. Well, no, it's not quite. It's only half full and it's already lost suction. Never mind. Oh well, that's the end of the cleaning for one day. I'll just have to get another toy vacuum cleaner to pick that up, won't I? Or even a real vacuum cleaner. 
Well, we've just about come to the end of this video for this Toy Miele Vacuum Cleaner by Theo Klein. What do I think of it? Well, I have to give it 10 out of 10 for looks. Theo Klein have done a fantastic job of making a very detailed model of a real Miele vacuum cleaner. But unlike the real thing, unfortunately, this one doesn't pick up very well at all. In fact, it's left rather a mess for me to clear up later on. I don't know what I'm going to use. Perhaps I'll get out the toy Dyson vacuum cleaner from Kasdan. That seemed to do a better job. If you want to see any of my other demonstrations of toy vacuums, I'll put a link in this video. I also demonstrate real vacuum cleaners as well. But as far as this one goes, it's a nice piece of design. It's a nice, lovely looking toy. But as far as picking up the dirt, well, I have to give it three out of 10 for that. Still, it's a nice thing to have if you like your vacuum cleaners. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please thumb up and please subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.